All right, y'all, I'm not recording a video today, but I had to record because Grandma's here. Everybody say hey to Grandma. Grandma say hey to everybody. Hey, everybody. All right, she came by to get a, her rabbit because uh, <laughs> one of our rabbits, we had a male and a female, but then the male died. So Grandma's going to take the female back and put her back in her colony so, she can, so, so that that rabbit can breed. And uh, picking up a couple other things and bringing up some things as well. But she really came to see little Benjamin. That's it. That is it. <laughs> so, Haven't seen him in four weeks. So that's right. Too. So yeah. they're over here spending some time together. Benjamin locking eyes. <laughs> Look at him. He's just looking. <laughs> Who is this crazy lady? I also got to show y'all this thing here. Because one of you all sent some... Uh, oh, this Tim. So I can talk. But one of you all sent... Let's see if it can focus. One of y'all sent some little bobby head, little doll things. And y'all sent the boys one. And the boys, they've lost theirs already. And uh, y'all sent another one. I don't know if y'all sent this for grandma. Or it, it, was it supposed to look like grandma? Or did y'all just send it? And that's just a coincidence. But uh, <laughs> we were all talking about how this little uh, bobby head doll looks just like grandma. Like, look at it. They're twins. So we say we're gonna get this one to grandma. I don't know if y'all sent it for us to get a grandma and y'all noticed that it looked like grandma or not, but we're gonna get this to grandma. So thank y'all. <laughs> y'all thank you. Get my sucker back. Yeah, you see your daddy. Benjamin and Grandma over here fellowshipping. Got the uh, backsplash in the kitchen. Looking good. Like that backsplash, Megan? Love you. Love you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're gonna be getting ready. We got everything cleaned up. Everything, all the, the tile, the backsplash is done. But we still have to do the grout. And uh, we're going with a grout. The lightest grade that we can find, we're gonna use is grout. So it's gonna be light grade grout. And I got all my things set out to do that. I probably won't do it today. I'll probably do it another day. But uh, let everything get locked in and solid before I start rubbing on it and grouting it and everything. But that's all looking good. I just wanna pick y'all up real quick. Show y'all grandma. Show y'all Benjamin. And uh, <laughs> before she left, because I know y'all were going to get on me if I didn't show y'all grandma while she was here. All right, y'all, so we just relaxing today, not doing too much. And I just pick y'all up uh, tomorrow, the next day, Monday morning, something like that. Today is uh, Friday. And so we'll probably take today and the rest of the weekend off and then just pick everything back up on Monday. So I guess I'll see y'all early Monday morning and we'll start putting up this crap.
you gonna cry while we're doing grab? Yep. He said, I'm getting rid of this pacifier now. <laughs> Cause I see mom about to walk off and I'm not okay with it. It's time to get this grout on now, y'all. We got Benjamin in here settled. The rest of the boys are at home school and Tim is down there. We've been um, going back and forth trying to figure out how we can do this and still um, be neat in the kitchen um, just because, you know, everything is in place. And so he's moved out the oven. We got a drop cloth back there and he's using this little trowel instead of working. We got a big bucket down here instead of like trying to lug the big bucket around. But y'all, this is it. This is the last major project in the kitchen and it will be complete i'm so happy with how it looks already i just love this backsplash and i'm excited to see what it will look like with a grout on it so this is going to be the last time we like have to make a mess in the kitchen or put a drop cloth or something like that down we still do have to do the touch up painting and caulking um with the the trim and i talked to him about that caulking already Oh yeah. <laughs> Bill, I'm coming for you. Don't, don't hey, don't worry, Bill. We're grateful for what you did. Um, and we'll just go and we'll we'll finish it off with the caulk and the touch up paint. And then also, um, when we were when Tim was running the lines for refrigerator, dishwasher, everything, he needed a longer drain hose for the dishwasher. So we actually have to go back and complete that project as well and order the proper drain hose and get that hooked up and done. So those two little things that were um, kind of left when we did those projects, we have to circle back and do it. And like that's like hard to do because... It like, oh, it looks good, you know, the trim looks good, or oh, you know, the dishwasher's there, and but you know, you have to like circle back and complete it. So we're gonna be disciplined and circle back and complete those couple of things. But other than that, y'all, it is finished. <laughs> Just um, need to get this grout on, which is what we're doing today. So I'm gonna turn you around and let you see Tim do his grout work. Here we go. Oh yeah, I like that color already. You know why? It looks like the same color as the wall. <laughs> and that was the goal. I forgot what the color was. I threw the bag away. I probably need to remember oh. what color it is. Because uh, this almost could, could uh, go in. If you couldn't mm -hmm. buy inhalation, like this color could almost go in and like replace it. Why are you trying to replace it with a uh, grout though? No, it's a, it's, a, it's a color. I actually got it. Let me see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me clean this up. Yes, so here it goes. R rolling fog is the color. Oh. So that's the color of the grout. And I also get caulk. That's the same color. So I can caulk along the line where the uh, countertop meets the grout. Oh. Uh, or the backsplash at least to make sure now everything is walk tight. I understand. Exactly right. So that's rolling fog gray. Well, I don't know if they call it gray or not, but it's called rolling, rolling fog. fog. That's, and the, that's color. the same as that color as the grout. And you know, you can, right, right, right. Kind of so if we needed caulk like the, then that would be the caulk to get the match to match the paint color. Yeah, and when we do the, because we talked about doing the same backsplash in the bathroom. Right. So we just need to remember all our colors. Rolling fog. Okay. Yeah. That's a running, we got a running list of colors because we get asked that all the time what our paint colors are. And, um, you know, so we know halation, but, you know, we need to remember hey, caulk and uh, grout is rolling fog. I gotcha. Listen, it's forever uh, in our video. <laughs> Which video was that when we talked about the uh, yeah, and it's gonna be so hard to find. It is, but yeah, that looks really good, that blends in super well. Make sure I get all of those spaces, yeah, you don't have like the little piece that's not filled in. It looks good so far.
I can already kind of see it. Mm -hmm. Just needs to be wiped clean. Benjamin said he wants to cop to Let's see what he has going on. What's up, Bench? You want to do some caulking? Oh, grouting. You, you never do some <laughs> Yeah. You lost your pacifier. Like any, any subscriber out there that want to do, come do some caulking. They free. Listen, we're going to get emails. Folks going to be like, ah, caulk. It's like, I can't stand caulking. <laughs> Listen, he says that now, but he is not, like, being honest. He will not let anyone else caulk. Including me. Yeah, folks don't know what they doing. What? Because yeah, Megan came up one day and she was like, I'll help you cock. And I was like, nah, I'm fine. You don't know that I can't cock. I'm like, you, 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 you can uh, do something else for me. You don't know that I can't cock, though. You're right. I might be the best cocker ever. You're right. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> We're going to go with that. But now you don't want the cock, too. And I'll be wrong. <laughs> I can cock, but that's okay. I don't have to cock. Don't worry, we got plenty of jobs for you. I'm just saying, you just not, you, you act like you're just letting anybody cock. Yeah, you're right. Like, cause you said Benjamin could cock, but then you won't let me cock. But you told him, right? You told him now I'm just talking over. <laughs> Listen, that, that's why I'm fussing that bill, cause uh, they didn't cock right. <laughs> so. Like, you're not gonna let anybody else cock. That's what I'm saying, is right. the point. Don't come around here talking about helping. If you ain't gonna do it right, cause I'm 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 gonna put, I'm gonna put you out there. Like I'm I'm not good at like uh holding back. Exactly. You're gonna say this, everything you could have possibly thought about us. Uh, and then subject. I'm gonna take a break. And if I think about something else while I'm sitting there I'm drinking some mm -hmm. water, I'm gonna say that too. Oh, yeah. That's just my personality. Yeah. God needs them type of people every now and then. I might be a little bit annoying sometimes. Oh yeah. Cause I can like. It's like a. Uh, it's like, will you let it like, go? Like, like a thorn. Let, let it's it's it like go. a thorn in your finger that you let can't get go. out. Yeah. It should be picking it. Mm -hmm. Like when you get one of those paper cuts, mm -hmm. and it's like they're so small, but it's it's painful. You know, I might actually because I was going to grab mm -hmm. the whole thing. I'm, I'm drying. I got so do much it. to do. Yeah, do it in I sections. Have, I might have to stop you. Yeah. yeah. Do it in quarters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I did the girl. Your quarters. quadrants that you had yeah. before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I really want you to wipe some off so I, I get a it, huh? chance to look at it. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the drop cloth. It's like a big old glob. Yeah, you know, with, with grout, it just, <laughs> we got one little, it's meant to uh, do it missing. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. It probably is, but you know, no other way for it. DIY like right. That. Well, we've had professionals come and like you know, yeah. sling the sling our mud around. Yeah. So, let's clean up. <laughs> oh, man, look, it looks good so far. All right, bitch, what you got to say now? Oh, uh, watch your best friend again. He's like, no, I spit that out so I can talk. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's such a long while. I forget how big this kitchen really is. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was our goal, though, was to make the kitchen the focal point right. of the whole house. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's a farm. We're going to be doing a lot of cooking and preserving oh, yeah. and feeding people and... Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and get a sponge and a bucket. Oh, okay. So you're transitioning. Uh, mm -hmm. So everything won't drive on me and be hard. I got you. Yeah. Including the stuff in there. So exactly. he's gonna scoop that out so it doesn't dry. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Kind of got time. Time limit. Time limit, limit yeah. Because mm -hmm. it takes a long time to cure, but it starts to dry and get, get, get a little bit Yeah, hard I know working. what you mean. It's like too stiff to work with, but it's not stiff enough to. Really be done, you have to. Got some sponges over here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go get a bucket so that I can get some water and, uh, for my sponge so I can wipe everything down and uh, see how everything looks. All right. All right. 
Yeah, I was thinking even the feed bucket would be better than a dog. Yeah, I cleaned it back out for good. <laughs> finished this back wall here basically Tim has done a once over in sponging it and that's really just for um, seeding the grout just kind of getting it in all the right spaces making sure that the gap is filled um, around each tile and then also he's working on this grout line from the tile to the countertop so it's really important that he go over that once while it's still pretty wet so he can you know make sure all the grout is in all the right places and i was just getting a couple of clips actually of him doing that before i went to be benjamin and tim suggested that i put benjamin on his stomach for a second and of course i'll show you what happened so it's like you know dad of the year back there <laughs> But yeah, I'll show you Benjamin and I'll also show you the work that he's done so far on this back wall. Here is Benjamin. I will say he's sleeping, but he just popped his eyes open. I guess it's the flash <laughs> from the camera. But he was sleeping and now he's peeking out. And also I want to show y'all this back wall as well. This is just the first wipe down. We will change the water and wipe it down again to actually get the film of grout that's on there off. But he's done a good job of working the grout into all the cracks and spaces. And that's the goal of this first wipe down. It looks good. So yeah, so our attention right now is to any cracks any spaces just making sure everything is filled in and then we'll be able to come back and wipe down again and again and again many 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 times and we'll also need to change this water out because it looks liquid now but believe it or not it's so much grout in here that if you leave it it'll become solid and you can just <laughs> we've actually done that before that's why <laughs> that's how we know that but We'll get that water changed out. We'll get this wiped down again. And Tim has to work on this back wall here. And then we'll be able just to stop, start the process of wiping down again. 
All right, I'm about to actually go now <laughs> and feed Benjamin while Tim is working on this back wall here. Once we got Benjamin on his stomach, like Tim suggested, he was quiet. And so I was able to get a couple more clips of him working in this area here. But now I'm going to put the camera down and get to feeding Benji. Chips, something quick. Something quick. Oh, yeah. Good old chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Homemade bread. Yeah. Looks good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I am headed to the post office, y'all. It's um lunchtime, and I've already fed everybody lunch, so everyone has eaten. Had to just grab that door. And I'm going to head to the post office because we need to let the grout kind of solidify a little bit. And Tim has done all he can do. Pretty much it's my turn now to uh, take over and do all the wiping. So he's grouted all the surfaces, the back wall and then the side wall. And now we just need to clean the grout off, which means several wipe downs over and over and over again. So we're going to get started on that after I've um after we just kind of let it solidify so I'm going to use this opportunity to head to the post office I have a few things to mail out and I'm going to pick up packages made it to the post office so I'm gonna go ahead and head in so I can get my items mailed off and my packages if I have any so I'm just gonna check my PO box Some package. 
packages so I'll go ahead and pick those up at the front counter all right you got it ready for me <laughs> I want to mail these off to be postmarked today Oh, yes. Thank you. Just one? Yeah, that's that's good. Good. Thank you. That's about what I can handle. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, y'all. I was able to get my packages. No problems. This is it. And a few pieces of mail. So I'm going to go ahead and get headed back to the farm. It's always exciting when I can do a quick errand run and um, I've got some grout work to do. So I'm excited to get back. Pretty mean sounding truck for a little old lady. <laughs> Diesel. That's right. How did it feel? Good. I think I'm getting more and more used to driving it every time I drive. So I enjoyed it. It was a nice drive. That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that uh that beeping so annoying. Yeah. But a lot a lot of people think that uh this truck is too big for you to drive. <laughs> but it you probably is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back on this backsplash project. <laughs> and uh, Megan is back here taking over. And she's doing her, her part that she specializes in is wiping things down and getting them clean. Because uh, I could wipe this uh, backsplash down all day and it'll still be grimy and <laughs> funny looking. I'm good at putting it up and grouting it and uh, getting it all level and plumb and all that good stuff. Listen, you're good, you're good at cleaning too. It's just that I'm not good at the grouting and putting it up. Yeah. So I'm doing the part that I can do because he couldn't do the whole project and then come clean it up. But he's actually very good at cleaning. Yeah, I, I was trying to be modest. Yeah, you're like, I can do it all. I can, yeah, do, I can do a little bit of everything. everything. But yeah. then you can't do everything because then you end up, you know, cutting mm -hmm. corners somewhere. Listen, I, I always call myself homely. And uh, Megan said that that means like... Uh, ugly. Grimy. Ugly. ugly, not grimy. Just, you know. Like a uh, dirty or like a... Uh, I, I think it means just kind of like modest, like... You know, they talk about Jesus as being homely, I think. Like, mm -hmm. somebody, uh, not anything particularly good to look at. But listen, that don't matter. When I say homely, I mean able to function in a home. <laughs> so I'm homely. <laughs> But uh, I know that what, what it actually means, but it's just funny to me to say it because it says home. The word home is in there. All you got to do is add a L-Y on there and you got homely. But uh, I always call myself homely because I'm one of them men. I can go like split wood, run a chainsaw, run tractors, mow grass, jump off a cliff, land on my feet from 30 feet in the air and walk off and smile at you with a grin. Grin down a bear like a David Crockett. <laughs> Wrestle a bear. And uh, I can also come inside my home and clean. I can cook. I know how to decorate. I know how to I, organize. I, he's better at decorating than I am. Listen, I, I, I'm not going to tell all your business. But uh, it's like sometimes people be like, good idea, Megan, on uh, like, picking out that. Tim picked it out, y'all. <laughs> we work together to pick it out. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a homely man. Yeah, he's I, I, also I, nice and likes to share credit. At exactly. least on camera. Exactly. Like in private, though, I'm, I'm pretty proud in private, but on on camera and in public, and, I, and I let you make. It. That's only in private because he's trying to annoy me. Like he be going back and forth with me. It's like he is the most competitive person that you will ever meet when it comes to me. There's no need of being married if you can't be annoying to your wife. That's that's the whole purpose of being married. 
is you got a person that you can annoy that can't go nowhere. She can't leave. She's stuck. So I can melt her, pick on her. Oh, it's like the little kid on the playground that pulls your ponytail because he likes you. Listen. Like, well, you so, 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 sometimes when she sleep, I wake her up by sticking my finger in her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but then I, I stick my finger in her nose and then stick my finger in her mouth after I stick it in her nose oh, to wake her up. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny to me. And she'll wake up you know, like that, you know, bad in my hand. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what we're talking about. How do we get started talking about that? <laughs> but uh, Megan is back here getting the uh, backsplash clean and getting it all shiny and everything. And I'm just turning y'all around and let y'all see that. And then I'm going to go ahead. We're, we're trying to finish this project. I'm going to go ahead and put up the uh, the trim that we're going to put up there to give it a smooth transition from the backsplash to the wall over there. And then uh, after that, we're going to get the stove moved back. And uh, something else I wanted to do. What else did I want to do? Uh, grout? Did you say you are going to do something? Not grouting. Uh, caulking? Yeah, I got a little bit of caulking to do. and uh, I, I can't remember what all else I got to do. But I know I want to get a piece of trim there. I want to make sure I got a good bead of caulk going across the bottom. Get the stove back. Get everything wiped down. And we're trying to finish this project today. It's starting to look shiny. <laughs> it is. So let me turn y'all around so y'all can see what Megan got going on. That you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow. But who knows? Who knows if we get joy or sorrow? Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together. And we might, we might, be lost but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end Don't say you're ridiculous, you're not even close Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those We, we fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all We get a little wiser All right, family, so Megan has gotten all of the backsplash wiped down pretty good. She's just continuing to go over it because every time we think that we have it perfect, we see another spot that's kind of uh, hazy a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting these uh, plug covers back on to make everything start looking finished and flush and everything. Now Megan has everything shined up and has that 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 real thick uh, haze off of everything. So I'm going to just uh, set you all up. And uh, Megan's continuing to wipe down the uh, backsplash. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting these plug covers on. And when we get done with that, we're going to start getting this trim put on. And then getting everything caught up. Yeah. 
back on and I'm gonna go ahead I, I have some caulk here it's the same color as the uh, grout I'm gonna go ahead and caulk around those plug covers just so it'll lock everything in and seal everything up and those plug covers I had to pl float them out a little bit and so they have just a little bit of wiggle to them and so I'm gonna go ahead and caulk around them and that'll lock them in and I also need to caulk around that window and then caulk on this side over here as well in a spot and I'm gonna run a bigger caulk along the bottom it's already sealed with the grout but I'm gonna seal it just to make sure that no water gets behind there. We're really, really mainly behind the sink. And I'm just gonna hit and seal it with caulk all the way across the bottom with this caulk, the same color as the towel. So I'm gonna get that done and we'll pick y'all up when it's time to put this trim piece on the end and finish everything off. We are rolling. We've gotten everything caulked. Tim has caulked around each plug. As you can see from the light bouncing off the backsplash, we've got it wiped down really, really well. And now we are ready for the icing on the cake. Tim is gonna put up this trim piece. There's not a stud there, so he's just gonna use some liquid nail. Um, I if we have any, oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of had an idea that there was no stud here just because I've did so much to these walls. Mm. These walls are like my children now. I know everything <laughs> about them. I know every screw hole, every wire, everything is in these walls. But I kind of had an idea that there were going to be no studs here. So I cut this like super tight to where it's so tight in there that you need to hit it with a hammer mm -hmm. to get it out. And uh, But I, I'm hoping I have a little bit of liquid nail in here. So I can glue it down as well, and then the tightness of it being cut so so tight, and then hold the liquid will hold it down, and yeah. then I can put my other trim piece on top of that. Yeah, that should be good. We got any? Oh, so I'm coming out. Oh, there we go. go. Just a straight line, just in case I run out. <laughs> and I go back. Oh yeah. Got plenty. Oh, we're running out now. I feel it. <laughs> Got plenty. Oh, right. oh look at that. Oh, he got plenty now. He just gotta spread it out. They don't wanna get this stuff on. Yeah, this stuff on. Come on. Ask the whistle. <laughs> Let's see, that's too much. I'm gonna try to. When I put it on there, it's gonna try to squeeze onto my. Mm -hmm. Let me just kind of smooth it. Yeah, I squeezed it. Oh, yeah. It's, Still something in there. They activated some more. Still Got, some life in there. I think it was supposed to be done, but I squeezed it real hard. And it just... <laughs> right, I don't want to put too much. I don't want to squeeze out. Because mm -hmm. I probably did put too much. <laughs> Putting too much in my middle name. Yeah, doing too much, exactly. too much. <laughs> Oh, this is the way it's out. We're gonna get blue everywhere. I got my little handy dandy rags. They're just everywhere. Everywhere I go, these little rags are laying around the house. 
And I'm saying somebody must, was just looking out for me. I must have did something right to have all these little rags that I can wipe stuff with just laying around the house. I don't know if they're laying around the house. Hold on, let me, let me show them where the rags come from. Hey, look, it's just a pack just laying there right there. You're right. <laughs> I don't know if it's like this around y'all's house, but where you just got rags that you can wipe stuff with all around the house. All think? right, come on, put this shrimp piece on, piece on please. <laughs> That's what I think. Let's tap it with the rubber mallet. Tap it on in. Hit it and then all the backsplash just fall off the wall. That's not possible. Okay. But I'm sure you have a backup plan. I don't. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna uh, cut my piece. I need I don't have a tape measure. I brought all my tools. I was trying to bring all my tools in <laughs> to uh, no. Let's see, I probably could. Let's see. Maybe I can do this. You gonna have a little bit of whitewashing to do. <laughs> I don't know if you knew or not. Yeah. Kind of figure. See. Maybe I can just line it up. I, right I have to make some up. I don't think I have any. You have any left over last time? Mm-mm. Something looks awkward about it. Yeah, you, you look at it and let me. Okay. Man, it's, it's awkward because it's yellow looking. Okay. Just picture it white. Okay. Because we could just keep the other little piece there. A little trim. Yeah, I think I prefer the other little piece. I don't know if it's the color or maybe it's like the thickness of it. I mm -hmm. feel like that's a little bit too thick because these boards are all thinner. Yeah. But. That's yeah. good. I can take it off if you want. Because okay. I guess on the wood stone, you have two. Mm-hmm. On your side. Together. But now there's just one board. It's kind of like yeah. awkward. Yeah. It's bad. Let me see. Y'all tell us what y'all think, YouTube. I think it's more the size of it. Than yeah. The size. It is kind of big. Yeah. It's just hard, though, looking at it when it's not white. When it's yellow, because it stands out like a sore, sore thumb, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You what, what what we'll do is uh, we'll just put it up later. We're just gonna take it down so that we can end the video, <laughs> and it look good. And then uh, you can whitewash it, and then I put it back up there just like that without nailing it in, and we can test it, it and see. Yep. Okay. So I guess y'all know on next video, y'all y'all I'll leave it in the comment. This, this would be a good uh well, like comment piece. Because we actually see the comments before we do it, before we nail it in. And so, y'all let us know. Should we? I, I, I hate to do the uh, the judgment now based off how it looks now because it's uh, kind of yellowy looking. It just has like the primer coat or whitewash. But just picture that whitewashed, blending in with the open shelves. And then that's the border, that's the trim there. And then just look around. Let me just bag y'all up so y'all can see a little better. Do y'all like that transition better? Or or that? Y'all let us know what y'all think. Yeah. That transition? Or with this up there? Yeah, it's hard because like hands down that white looks better. Yeah, because it's I, white. White. Mm -hmm. But I think that it has something to do with the size of it too. And how neatly it just kind of fits there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, we got a boat that's gonna go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cash the balance. <laughs> All right, y'all, cast your balance and let us know what you think. But before we end today's video, I'm just going to walk you around the kitchen so you can see the completed product.
here is our fully renovated kitchen. I'm gonna start y'all over here. For now we have this temporary trim piece that's in dispute. We'll decide about that a little later once we have all your comments. And here is my baking prep station with this glorious backsplash in the background. I really, really do love how that turned out because it gives it some depth and some pop with the backsplash, but because it's the same color as the wall and the stainless steel, it almost just kind of flows into the background so, so well. And then here, we even, if you see the detail, Tim has caulked around each plug with the same color as the grout and it just it's all just seamless so that looks really good as well we'll walk you around here here we have the the piece that started it all was the black stainless steel sink farmhouse sink so that was our inspiration really for the rest of what we've done in this kitchen And then over here, we put our coffee station usually goes in this area. And this is this wall here. Usually this is just um, decoration here we use for this wall. And Tim put up this little um, sign that one of you sent us, let your faith be bigger than your fear. And that looks really great. But I'm very, very pleased at how the backsplash is just pulling everything together. I think it plays off every element from the countertops to the appliances to the um, open shelving and the stove range hood. Just everything is going together, even the drawer pulls. So I love it. And. I just think that every detail has completely come together. Show and show y'all around. And there it is. See if I can back up so you can see the full effect from this angle here. And then let's get back and let me show you the full kitchen. And there it is. From the floors all the way up to the mm -hmm. open shelves and the vent hood. Yes. Let's see if I can get a shot with the refrigerator. There we go. Awesome. I think it looks great. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it better quiet. Ain't ready to cut up. All right, y'all. We'll end t today's video here. All right, y'all, this is our beautiful kitchen and we are so pleased with how each detail has come together. And you know, just every step along the way, we feel like the kitchen has built in levels. You know, we started out, okay, we got the flooring and then we were trying to figure out um, the cabinets and the placement for the cabinets and then the appliances and finding appliances that actually matched our sink. And so, and then once we did that, it was kind of like, open shelving and what's the open shelving going to be like at each each part we had an idea of what we wanted to do but then it evolved as we were doing it so i really have enjoyed that we've been able to have the time and the flexibility to let it change you know and do those little changes so that we could tweak it to where it really really worked for us and we were really really happy with the product and happy with how it's turned out so i love it it's amazing. It's been an amazing process. A lot of hard work. Yeah. And, uh, but it's all worth it. Now that we have this completed Yay! kitchen, and, and we, we, we're in the hunt. We're on the hunt for a dining room table. Yeah. And also a coffee table for the living room. Mm -hmm. And uh, some some uh, what do you call the lampstand tables? I guess. Just lamps. Yeah. Lamps yeah. and. Well, the table for the lamps is one what I was talking about. Oh but, yeah. yeah also the lamps as well, and uh, we're looking for those things. It's kind end of tables, fin yeah. end tables. End tables exactly. Just to finish off this area, mm -hmm. and we're looking for like some uh, whitewashed, you know, old rustic yeah. looking uh, tables and things. And so we're on the hunt for all those things, and that'll just make everything complete. Maybe a exactly. big rug in the living room. Yeah. But other yeah. than that. 
our goal of completing the living area is complete Yay. almost and uh other than a few little small things and now it's time to move on to the bathrooms there <laughs> and, we that'll, go. and that'll be it and uh we're gonna hopefully lord willing contract out hire somebody to do the front porch and after we do the front porch it'll be on done. to the next <laughs> set of goals that we have <laughs> and we have some big things coming now so y'all just stay tuned because uh it's a lot of uh, amazing new things that are going to be happening mm, on the farm right, and right. you know with the channel and all those yeah. things and so y'all just stick around and continue to follow us on this journey alright it's IG Farms it's all about God we will see you on the next one he's still working on me yeah Look, he's still working on me I ain't where I wanna be But I ain't nothing like the old He's still working on me Lord, I thank you for your grace My faith greater than a monster He's still working on me I ain't where I wanna be But I ain't nothing like the old He's still working on me Lord, I thank you for your grace My faith greater than a monster To the fullest, cause there is no other greater. I used to dress like a raider, doing dirt every single night, high all day, tripping, laughing. I was out of sight, but Jesus Christ, He paid the price. I dare we cut up and act this way. Yes, I was of the world. Now, do that mean I can't be saved? My God is rich when it comes to His love and grace. But y'all made at the wall, still on Barack Obama's case, stressing, going crazy over what you can or cannot pay when all you got. To God and hit your knees and pray Oh yeah, a little faith Making me sick, I wanna regurgitate Cause if I mention sex, you're cussing Train and wanna fornicate Jesus died for us And it's like you slap him in his face And still, he give you chest after chance To get your life straight And I ain't where I wanna be So Lord, keep working on me yeah. Keep working on me He's still working on me I ain't where I wanna be But I ain't nothing For your grace, my faith greater than a monster. He's still working on me. I ain't where I wanna be, but I ain't nothing like the old He's me. He's still working on me. Lord, I thank you for your grace. My faith greater than a monster. By God's grace, I'm still here. Lord, make my heart pure. I don't know where I'd be if it weren't for Him. I did a lot of wrong, but now. I'm seeing clear, I'm touching people clear, through the music. Rapping was my gift. I'm asking God for forgiveness. Tired of living in guilt. Standing strong, being firm. Cause that's how I'm built. Now I'm shining bright. Like after solar clip. It ain't on me, bro. It's in me. I don't care about the drill. And when you change for the better, people hoping you slip. God wanna see me ball, so I'm coming like Paul Pure. Can't complain, be a man and play the hand I was dealt. Can't nobody tell me different, I know God, he real He'll do the same for me, if he did it for Bill He'll do the same for me, if he did it for Bill Can't complain, be a man, and play the hand I was dealt Can't nobody tell me different, I know God, he real He's still working on me I ain't where I wanna be But I ain't nothing like the old He's still working on me Lord, I thank you for your grace my faith greater than a monster. He's still working on me. I ain't where I wanna be, but I ain't nothing like the old me. He's still working on me. Lord, I thank you for your grace. My faith greater than a monster. Man, wait for me to fall, but I never do that. All the jealousy and envy. God ain't rocking like that. I might stumble a little bit, but I ain't getting off track. God don't like ugly. He always bring out the I'm only a man
working on me. He's still working on me. I ain't where I wanna be, but I ain't nothing like the old me. He's still working on me. Lord, I thank you for your grace. My faith greater than the mustard seed. He's still working on me. Tryna take my fate, but I'ma stand on your word, Lord, and praise your name. They hating on me cause I changed, but it's cool, I love it. Talk about me, mark me bad, but I stand above it. Look down all you want, you ain't taking none from me. Praise the Lord year round, so my blessings keep coming. I ain't ashamed, I ain't faking, ain't pretending at all. Standing like a heavyweight, now I'm next to the Lord. Big dog on point, and I'm ready to strike. I got my Sheila armor on, and it's strapped on tight. I'm walking with the Lord daily, and it's feeling so right. So if you want the devil, come on, I'm ready to fight. He's still working on me. I ain't where I wanna be, but I ain't nothing like the old He's still working on me. Lord, thank you for your grace. My faith greater than the mustard seed. Trigger, Nick the Ruler, yeah, huh? yeah, and my brother B, yeah, you know what I'm saying, see, I ain't trying to act like I'm holier than thou, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying, so just keep allowing the Lord to, to work in you, so you can be what we at, you know what I'm saying, cause the peace that surpasses what we going through right now, Boy, I tell you, it's feel good. <laughs> and on that note, I'ma do this here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen.